Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will see the map method of Java Stream API. So without any further ado, let's get started. The map method of Java Stream API is used to modify each element of the stream by applying a functional interface called function. Let's see how. So let's first create a list of integer. List integer. Let's name it list and the implementation is array list. And let's add some element in the list. And the element is let's say add all arrays dot as list. Let's number is like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now let's create a functional interface. Okay. And that modifies an integer and return an integer. So let's create a functional function interface okay so this function is a functional interface as you can see this function is a functional interface that means it has only one method okay so we can have a we can implement this interface via lambda function so the it takes an in argument as integer okay and return integer Let's name it F1. Okay. And let's define this. So what it will do is it will take an integer name num. Okay. And what it returns, let's say it returns double of it. Okay. Or let's say it returns 10 times of it. Okay. So 10 into num. Okay. So any number given to this F1. Okay. Any number given to this F1, this F1 will return what? It will return. 10 it will return 10 times of it basically if you give it to give it like 5 then it will return 50 okay let me let me tell you how so let's s out okay f1 dot apply okay let's give 5 okay the output of this will be 50 okay let's see so as you can see the output is 50 okay so now let now let's apply this function on each of the element okay of this stream so let's first convert this list into stream then map okay now apply this function f1 okay and it will return this map will read will also return a stream okay it will return a stream of what the type of this lambda function the type so this is also returning a integer so this will return what this will return a stream of integer okay and then you can print that by using a for each method okay so now the output of this will be 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 okay let's see yeah as you can see the output is this one okay so now let's see um, let's convert um, this stream into a different type okay so let's say this one the output output of this is instead of integer let's say it's uh, the output is a string okay so let's convert this to string okay and the output is so whatever number you are getting okay the output is let's say uh, underscore number okay so this is a string okay so basically the output of this function is uh, if you are passing one then output is one underscore number okay let's see s out f1 dot apply let's say let's say you are given 5 then the output of this will be 5 underscore number okay so basically you are passing an integer but the return type is string okay see so now the output of till this one till map is a string okay is a stream of string see it is a stream of a string okay so now if we do if we print then it will print according to this function okay 
see now you can also do um, like map over map for example if you if you want to convert this into all uppercase okay so now you can what you can do is you can do map string to uppercase okay so it will basically do the uppercase of this first uh, it has converted the number into a string and then the second map is getting applied and it is converting that into uppercase okay so the output of this will be all uppercase okay as you can see two underscore number three underscore number this is what in this video i hope you like this video bye